government establishes National Commission on Marijuana, hundreds of youth rally against crime and violence, and stakeholders meet to tackle domestic violence. This is the SKNS Week in Review for the period April 1 to 6. Hello and welcome, I am Ian Richards. Hundreds of children marched to the streets of Bastyr on Tuesday to bring awareness to the crime reduction program they have been involved with over the past three months. The event was organized by the Ministry of National Security, which contracted the services of international skills consultant Dr. Niels Scheiten to implement his enforcement diagnosis, education and rehabilitation, or either approach, and also project Stop and Think. Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris, as well as Premier of Nevis and Senior Minister in the Federal Government, The Honorable Vance Amory, marched alongside the children as they made their way to Independence Square for a rally. Premier Amory said, more has to be done at all levels of society to promote an environment of love, compassion, and respect. You are not too young to begin to learn to do what is right. You are not too young to learn to develop a spirit of forgiveness, a spirit of tolerance, a spirit of stopping and thinking before you do anything whatsoever. And that goes for even doing the right thing. Because if you stop and think and you do the right thing, all is well. If you stop and think before you proceed to do the wrong thing, things will be well as well. Students have testified to the value of the program, including AVEC student Andrew Mosquito. Dr. Chaitan's presentations were nothing compared to what I've experienced before. The most impressive part about his discussions was that he grasped everyone's attention using only raw facts. Over the last three months, his wealth in knowledge impacted me in a tremendous way. The manner in which he broke down realistic situation opened my eyes on life experiences and allowed me to view reality from a different perspective. Anxiously, I look forward to attending his session because his interesting discussion arose my curiosity for learning so I can apply what I've learned to my day-to-day -day life. Government has established a National Commission on Marijuana or Cannabis to facilitate national engagement on issues relating to its production and use in St. Kitts and Nevis. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris announced the creation of the commission on Wednesday and revealed that Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws will serve as the head. Other members will be named at a later date and are expected to include representatives from education, health, law enforcement, the banking association, religious bodies, the Rastafarian community, youth and others. We wish that the commission would conduct or utilize research to guide an exhaustive consultation both in St. Kitts and in Nevis on the subject matter and make recommendations for the cabinet. I expect a vigorous inquiry into the social, the economic, the health and legal issues surrounding marijuana production and use in St. Kitts and Nevis as a precursor to a determination and the current classification of marijuana. Medical treatment for persons with renal or kidney failure in St. Kitts and Nevis is one step closer to being a reality with the arrival of Funk Da Tsai, who will manage the renal failure disease control and prevention project. The initiative is the outcome of a three-year medical cooperation agreement in public health and medical skills between the federal government and the Republic of China, Taiwan. On Monday, Minister of Health, Honorable Eugene Hamilton, welcomed Mr. Tsai. It will involve training of our people. It will involve our point of service being brought to the level where we can test the persons who are at risk in our health centers. They can do that testing. It's important to know that. Therefore, our persons who are out there should not fail to have themselves tested where necessary to determine whether they are candidates for renal failure. You are aware that hemodialysis can cost an individual in St. Kitts and Nevis more than $120,000 a year. None of us can afford to pay $120,000 a year 
on renal disease, on hemodialysis. And so it is important that once this program is up and running, that those of you in the country who are maybe likely candidates you don't even know, you can get yourself tested so that there can be a path, a program set out for you so that you can avoid chronic failure of the kidneys. Officials from various public sector agencies and civil society institutions spent Thursday reviewing guidelines to tackle issues of domestic violence. The participants learned more about the coordinated approach being promoted by the Department of Gender Affairs as an effective means to help both the victim and the perpetrator. Janet Lewis Tafari is the Permanent Secretary in Gender Affairs. We're hoping that we'll get improved data. Right now we have data, but there's data at the Gender Affairs Department, data at the police, data at the hospital, data at the health centers, data with the churches, with the community groups. So we need to find a way where we can have all this data in one place. We can have a clear picture, a truer picture of what is really happening in our country with regards to domestic violence. How many reports have we really received? How many reports have really gone on to be prosecuted? What was the outcome of these? The what was the impact when the persons came to the various institutions? Were they able to move on, move out of the situation, able to get help? Were the perpetrators able to have a change in their behavior? In short, are we doing what we set out to do? The Honorable Justice Perletta Lands of Nevis has been appointed to serve as a second judge in the St. Kitts Circuit. On Wednesday, Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris welcomed the news. I want to thank the Chief Justice, the Honorable Dame Janice Pereira, for working with us to ensure we could deliver this so soon in 2017. The second High Court is now served by the Honorable Justice Perletta Lands who hails from the Federation. We welcome her and we wish her well in this high office. We will now have continuous sitting relating to criminal matters all year long. And similarly, we will have continuous hearing of civil matters. The Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force is using polygraph testing, otherwise known as lie detector testing, as a tool to ensure that the men and women wearing the grey and black have high standards of integrity and are committed to professional service delivery. Commissioner of Police Ian Quilly said every officer will be screened to ensure continued sustainability for their current and future assignments. On Wednesday, Deputy Commissioner of Police Hilroy Brandy, who is responsible for training, noted that all recruits in training class 41 were screened using polygraph technology. And finally, on Tuesday, the Department of Sports in St. Kitts took possession of a package of sports gears, including footballs, cricket bats, balls, gloves, and pads that were donated by the Dunnington Cricket Club based in the United Kingdom. Members of the club are in St. Kitts for a March 29 to April 11 sports tourism tour and presented the gears during a brief ceremony at the Wanapar Cricket Stadium. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sports, Stanley Knight, thanked the club for its donation and said their visit fits into a sports national framework that is being developed. We have just recently actually embarked on the development of a national sports framework. And what we have done is we have simplified the framework into three distinct pillars. And it really is simple. One, sports for all, which I think is why you are here. Two, sports for development, which is why we have you here. And three, sports for excellence. It really is a simple vision that means so much to us. And it is because of that vision why it is such a pleasure for me to be able to have you here. That's all for this week's edition of SKNS Week in Review. I'm Ian Richards.